Are you with me? Oh, oh, that was Miss Collins' room. I remember that. Hey, Emma, how's your week been? Yeah. Just with him. Emma. All righty. <laughs> Hello, Caitlin. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Family Feud. Yes, again. We are in week five of Family Feud. Ooh, ooh. No, why do you put in the here, here goes with number one. Name something you always have to keep plugged in. Always have to always keep have to plugged keep. in. Kiki. Your phone. Your phone. Number two answer. <laughs> nice job. Oot, oot. Okay, moving right along. Bethy. What? Good evening, my dear. Good evening. <laughs> what is something you always have to keep plugged in? I don't know. Well, let's think about it. Chargers. Your chargers, obviously. Um, what do I you know. charge? What'd you say, Bethy? What's something in the kitchen that you might need to keep plugged in? He did not. That's Tommy. You just say another one, Bethy. What's in the kitchen that you need to plug in? Phone. Yeah. What? Chargers. What else? I don't know. How about for like in the morning? Mm. What do you make in the morning with bread? Mm. No? Mm. No, Mo? Um, you, but you might, you know, get this, the butter out of the, uh, Oh, Bethy, uh, it's it, in our house. You have to yank it open by the bottom. <laughs> what, do that mean? what do you have to use your whole arm to open in our kitchen? Peanut butter. <laughs> that too. <laughs> that too. Okay. Oh, no. The cold thing where the milk is. Hubba. The refrigerator. Come on, Beth. The refridge. Right yeah. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> Good work, Beth. Nicole. Toaster. Toaster. Great answer. Not on our list. On me. Brian. Your computer. Your computer. Number three answer. <laughs> nice job. Dirk. Oh, um, goodbye. <laughs> that's fine. I'm, I'm eating dinner, though. Um, well, so, if I want to see in my house, um, plug in. What do you plug in? Um, I like that you're looking around. Actually, I. Oh, my God. I know this. Um, uh, I plug my razor in. Oh, that's a great answer. Unfortunately, not on our list, mm. but excellent answer. We've in the chat, um, Nate said lamps. That is our number four answer. Awesome nice. job, Nate. <laughs> nice job, Nate. Um, fill up. Um, iPad. iPad. Um, that's going to go with computer. Great. <laughs> awesome. Zach, I'm going to find you. Zach, what'd you put in the chat? Television. Number one answer. Lucy Johanna got it. <laughs> awesome sauce. Okay, we've got two more. One in the kitchen. Hef? iPod. That's gonna stick with computers. I like it though. Okay, so stick with iPod. <sighs> what do you need with your iPod? Like, if you're listening to something. 
Hef. Yes? I'm sticking with you. If you're listening to something. Thank you. What? You said thank you. Oh. <laughs> um, Nate Orlov has them in his ears right now. If you can see him. Oh. To listen to music. Music. Yeah, you need something on your ears that plug in headphones. Your headphones, absolutely. Number five. Okay, last but not least, sticking in the kitchen. Rudy. Is it radio? Oh, I like that. Not a radio. No. Um, I see Patrick wrote stove. It is something that um you use to heat things up, Christina. Um, microwave? Yeah, number seven. Good job, everyone. Woo, crushed it. Yes, Michelle, I love those dance moves. Name a genre of music. When we say genre, we mean like type or category. Ellen Sue, Michelle, and Ronnie. Yes, now. Yes. Name a type of music, please. Uh, um, I'm going to say uh, high school musical. High school musical, number eight. Good. Woo! I love we got that. musicals. Oops. Ben Bardeen. Type of My music, favorite country, 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 country music. Country music, number seven. Like Leah. Um, pop by any chance? Number one. Um, yes, I knew it. You got it. Morgan, oh. Terrell, Morgan Terrell said rap. It's rap. Number three. Rock. Number two. Oh, wow, Patrick, we are just. <laughs> Is there a cam? Um, uh, Patty. Um, Jazz. Number four. Ooh, we that one too. We're rolling. This is our category, guys. I love it. What is, who, who's, Robert. Is it, um, cut, um, uh, hip hop or? Hip hop. Um, there's another, I actually don't know what this stands for, but it goes with hip hop. Is it um R R and B? Like yeah, yeah. Oh, nice, nice job. Six. Rhythm and blues. Uh, thank you. I thought too. That's number six. Okay. Uh, one more, Annie. Uh, opera. Ooh, ooh, really good guess. Oops, where'd you go, Annie? I lost you. I got uh, it. Great guess. Not on this. We have a couple people in the chat saying classical. Oh my God, everyone in the chat, you are correct. Get it. Thank you. You guys rock. Incredible. Incredible. All righty. Question number three. Name a state that has a coast along the ocean. A geography question. Excellent question. Big fan. Thank you. Thank you. Teo. Yes? What is a state in the U.S. that has an ocean along it? Atlantic Ocean. Yes. Name a state that has the Atlantic Ocean. You can swim in it. Uh I don't know. What state do we live in? Massachusetts. Number one answer, my friend. Great work. Okay. And Ben Majeski, you wrote uh, Cape Cod, so you spot on with that one. Excellent. Um, Joey, I see you, Maine, number four. We got a lot of Californias, too, in the group. Number two. <laughs> A little delay there, sorry. <laughs> good, all good. Yeah. 
We're rolling. Okay. Let's just go moving right along here. Patrick. Uh, Florida. Florida, number three. <laughs> Morgan, we got to start thinking of some harder questions. These guys have been studying or something. <laughs> uh, Danny. You have a, an answer for us? Oh, um, um, uh, let's see, Hawaii? Oh, great guess. Unfortunately, not on this one, but great guess. Tommy D, you got an answer for us? Um. Sticking with the East Coast. Um, I think one is south of us and one is north of us. <laughs> well, uh, Mexico. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a great guess. I, I set you up there. <laughs> <laughs> um, great guess. Not on this round. Patty, help us out. New York. Oh, also a great guess. Not on this round. Um, let's see. Sean? Yes? Hello. Hello. Um, do you know a state that has, um, an ocean attached to it or near it? <laughs> um, uh, well, kind of, um, well, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, New Jersey. Oh, what a good guess. There's a new, New Jersey is not on our list, but new something, and it's above Massachusetts. Uh, new York. New Ham. New Hampshire. Yes. Number six. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Moving right, get it. Moving right along to Sarah. Rhode Island. Rhode Island, thank you. Number five. And Nate Orlov, you got that one too. Awesome. Awesome sauce. <laughs> um, Robert. Uh, Canada. Oh, that's a great guess too, man. We're going to stick with states on this round, but great guess. Uh, oh, she's attached to them. Uh, um, um, Terrell, is that a hand? Wa Washington. Okay, so Washington. Um, very, this is very close to Washington State. Hmm. Starts with an O. It's between Washington and California. Oklahoma? Oh, that's a great that's guess. Yeah. Um, not on that round. Let's see here. I'm not very good with geography. <laughs> oh, yeah, social studies? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's great we don't teach geography. They should already know that. Let's move right along. <laughs> Efren, help us. Oregon. Thank you. Tommy D, I see you, man. All right. Morgan, what number was it? Oh, Sorry. great. Seven. Okay. And Zach. Georgia. Georgia. Okay. Um, these great guests, not on this round. Mm -hmm. The last one is. I'll guess again. Go ahead, two states. Mm -hmm. North and South. North and South, uh, Connecticut. Oh, very, very good guess. Um, it does start with a C. California. Uh, Care. I'll guess, well, can I guess again? Go ahead. Can you, Sweet can you? care. South Carolina. Yes! And I got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. it. Teamwork. All right, we have one more question, and then we have our special, our special guest for halftime. So here we go. Okay, name somewhere where people pay with coins. Nate. A casino. Oh, wow. That's an unbelievable guess, and it's not on our list. I'm sorry, <laughs> friend. Wow. 
Oh, Joey just put a good one in the chat if you want to go over to him. Yeah, of course I do. MBTA? Subway, number three, bust. Oh, Sam Higgins. Sam Let's Higgins, see. hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yes, Tom. Tom. Incredible. <laughs> Sam Higgins. Vending machine. Number one. Oh, yeah. Cabot, so good. It's unbelievable. Well, absolutely. I'm going with Cabot, which, hold on. Um, let me find you. Okay, moving right along. Thank you for your patience. Cabot's is a type of what, Tom? Restaurant. Yes, number five. <laughs> Rushed it. Patty. Um, you have to put in the, in the, when you park, you put in the, um. Yes, number seven. <laughs> oh, that one got, was really big. <laughs> it was the last one. <laughs> Robert. I'm um, the laundromat. Yes, number two answer. You guys are crushing yeah, this one. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you really need to call Family Feud and get some new questions. <laughs> Louie. Hey, um, how, how about the, um, I don't know what is the when they um, parked on cars. It was, it was the uh, parking on meters. Yeah, the parking meters, number seven. Oh. Yeah, that's all right. You're good. Okay, moving right along. <laughs> Brian. Gas station. Gas station. Such a great call. Not on the list, though. Okay. Uh, ben. Which Ben? Bardeen. Uh, oh, and, and, and oh, I, I, I played this before in, in, in our, and I don't think it counts, but it, but in our, in an arcade because of the, because coins count in arcade, I think cool. coins are such, arcade. Such a good guess. That absolutely should be on the yeah, list. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe that would be number eight or nine. Patrick. Uh, arcade. Oh, see, you guys have, are on the right minds. Great minds think alike. That's what I'm trying to say. Not on this round. Um, Andy Doyle. Yes. You may bring coins to this place. I'm not sure that's helpful. <laughs> Uh. You can like put them in the uh, little tubes and turn them in. Oh. I don't know. No, no problem. I'm gonna find Zach. Zach. Man. Can you me the Zach. bank? <laughs> yes, the bank. No, I got Emma. Nice job. And the last one is the general, Christina. Um, cash register. Cash register, which would be at the what? Grocery store. Bingo, number four. Nice job. Wow. You guys are good. You guys are on fire. All right. Um, I am going to play our little commercial break, break jingle. And while I do, I'm going to show a picture, a photograph. Um, it, is a, it is a photograph clue. It is a picture of our special guest. And so while you listen to the music, uh, take a look and see if, see if you can think about a guess of who our guest might be. Oh. Dear. <laughs> Um, Linda, who do you think this person is? I don't know. Well, take a guess. <laughs> no, I then. I don't know. Okay, okay. I'll give a little clue. This person is not that age anymore. This person is mm -hmm. an adult. 
but this is a picture of that, that person um, at Camp Echo Bridge many years ago. Well, okay. Nate Liebold. Uh, right. Hello, my friend. Yes. Hi. So, who, who do you think yeah. the person on the screen is? Who do you think the person on the screen is? It's Joseph. Ah, not Joseph. Hmm. Let's take two. Who I wonder if that's Joseph. You know. Oh, uh, Brandon. Nope. Oh. Uh. Who'd you say, Benny? Benny? You? Me? I, I've got a very similar picture. <laughs> Not me, though. Um, I think hey, let's go to Brian Heffernan has a thumb up. OK. What do you think, Brian? Andy Garlic? Not Andy Garlic. Well, I, yeah, I currently have that haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Should we take one more guess, Morgan, Let's and then we'll take one more. Um, Maybe Chris Kuklinski, do you have a guess? Hi, Chris. Hi. Hi. Do you have a guess of who's on the screen? Um. Let's see. Uh, um. Chris, she was there before me and you a really long time ago, before <laughs> Beth Garlic, too. Um, is it, um, is it, um, is it a woman or a man? Woman. Um, uh, let's see. Hmm. Um, uh, month. Um, Monica Gallag. Oh, that would be a great guess. I appreciate that. It's not Monica. Dirk, and I saw your hand, so I'm gonna just hear it. Okay, up. I know, I know who it is. Okay. Is it Marissa? Hmm. It's not Marissa. I remember the I remember the resemblance. So. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Huh. Well, Emma. All right, let's reveal it. This person is with us tonight. Morgan, maybe you can unmute this person and we I for sure can. We are going to try to find out some things about Christina. Hello, Hello Christina. Christina. That was me in 1981 at Camp Echo Bridge. Incredible, incredible. <laughs> I was negative seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> Karen right. wasn't the director when I was at Camp Echo Bridge, when I was the camper. Karen and Mark were not even the directors. Wow. Okay, so we have some questions for Christina, and underneath each of these blue rectangles is the answer. Now, Morgan, I'm just realizing that I never went back to add the questions on top, but I think you have the questions. I um, sure do. And with the answer, so could you kindly read us uh, question number one? Absolutely. What state does she live in? Ah, what state do we think Christina lives in? Mm. Zach. Massachusetts. Great guess. Unfortunately, no, she does not live in Massachusetts. Nate Cube. Uh, uh, I think New York. Ooh. Yes. Very close. I'm going oh. to I think if I'm remembering correctly, it's one of it's one of the states that was our answer for states that have that li that are next to the ocean. Yeah. Tom DeShubo has this in the chat and Sam and Christina. Ten ninety. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. You yeah. got it. You got it. Christina lives in New Hampshire. Good old New Hampshire with that cool. ocean coast. <laughs> All right, Morgan. Okay, what? Moving right along to favorite camp activity. All right. So we now know Christina went to camp Echo Bridge as a kid. So what do you think her favorite camp activity was? Allie. 
Mm. Favorite thing to do at Camp Echo Bridge? I don't know. There was a lot of stuff. I that, know, right? Well, yeah. What was your, one of your favorite things? Maybe it was the same. May I give a clue, Emma? Sure. We still do this activity today at Camp Echo Bridge. Go, go swimming? Yes, I knew you would get it. Awesome. Nice job, Al. Nice. And Majestic, he said golfing. And Majestic. I love it. <laughs> Nicole, I see that you wrote swimming too. That's great. Fishing, they do that in uh, Crystal Lake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good guesses. Um, favorite animal? <laughs> Linda? Dog. Great guess. Not the favorite, though. Shalee! Yes? Hey, lady! Hi, boy. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. What do you think Christina's favorite animal is? Um, I think a fish, Morgan. Oh, great guess. Yes. Not the answer, though. Hmm. For those of you who have been on programs, um, these virtual programs, you may have m met an animal that would give you a clue. Whoa. Now let's do Michelle and Ronnie. Yeah. yeah. What do you think Christina's favorite animal is? Uh, a dog. Oh, a cat. Great cat. Yes. Cat? Yes. A cat. Great guess. Not the, not the right one for this round, though, <laughs> Leah. Um, um, maybe a parrot or something. A parrot, great guess. <laughs> not this one. Um, Mark Kelly has two of these. Oh, he has two. I think. Tom. Bunny. Yes. yes. <laughs> nice. That's right. Peanut, right, Christina? Yeah, peanut. Oh, I love it. Such a good name. All right, Morgan, what is our next question? Favorite Athletes Unlimited event? Wow. And to be clear, not necessarily a virtual event, right, Christina? Yes, it's this not a virtual event. Part of our normal, <laughs> kind of our normal schedule. Robert. Woman. Swimming. Swimming. Oh, Swimming. Um, not on this one. Sorry, dude. Uh, Louis. Um, uh, uh, kids are uh, talking about the, um, uh, just, oh, man. Um, kids tell me about the, uh, about the, uh, kids tell me about the, um, the, uh, about the uh, whole thing. Yeah, so her favorite AU event happens in May. Oh, um, it's just, um, just even, uh, happened, uh, several years ago. Mm hmm But we have, it, but we have, it, we have several awards. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Louis. That's right, Adam. It happens every year. Yeah. One way or another. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Booyah. Booyah, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, moving to favorite movie. Hmm. Benny. Uh, Lion King. Oh, great guess. <laughs> Not. <laughs> I don't think so, Jeff Gannel. <laughs> I have to say, The Little Mermaid. Ooh, also another great guess. Um, half. I can probably guess this because it's a. 
the human tattoos on with my with my sister, Harry Potter. <laughs> That's a great guess. Not the answer though. Um, Terrell. Disney movie. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Um, Charlotte's. Well, not Charlotte's Web. Um, Lego movie. Ooh, good guess. Um, this one has three uh, movies, right, Em? Uh, there are four of them now. Four. Four. Oh, my gosh. Patrick? Toy Story? Yes! <laughs> Patrick, you're <laughs> incredible! <laughs> we have it in the, in the chat, too. Nice job, everyone. Awesome. Jeff Kettle, I see that, too. Great work. Christina, do you have a favorite character from the Toy Story movie? I like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I don't know wow. if you know Disney, but in the Toy Story ride, he's like the sideshow Sam at Disney, and it's really funny. Cool. I'll have to check that out. So right. now we've got uh, Christina's favorite author. Hmm. Hmm. That's a tricky one. We may need some clues from her down the line. We'll get a couple questions. Okay. Yeah, 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 definitely. I've got two clues where, ready to go. So, uh, Ben Bardeen. Stephen King. Oh, great guess. Um, Terrell just guessed that, too. Great author. Great author. Um, I think Stephen King lives in Maine, actually. Mm -hmm. He does. E.B. White, I see. J.K. Rowling. Um, great, great, great. Philip? Um, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. That's all right. You want me to move on or you want to take a guess? Um, I think, um, Arthur. Um, I need, I need help. Okay. Um, I don't know what this person has written. Christina? Oh, I do. This person is a children's author, and he's from the Boston area. Oh, That's okay. Fun. And his last name is a color. Yes, that is correct. Um, I want to say I, I, I don't know. No problem. Thanks for trying, Philip. Absolutely. Okay, so last name is a color. First name is someone we know very well. Zach. Mark Brown. Yes! yes. <laughs> I got Emma. You guys you got, got it. Me. Yes. Does, anybody know, does anybody know what Mark Brown writes? What's, what story or what character Mark Brown writes about? I'm going to check Nate Orlov. Nate, do you know that? Uh, he, he, he wrote an illustrated uh, Arthur's yeah. Arthur Folk series. Oh, yeah. wow, that's awesome. TV show okay. on TV. Because I used to read him and watch it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, nice. Cool, cool, cool. Nice job. Okay. Um, what is Christina's job? <laughs> I see some people shaking their heads like they don't have a clue. But <laughs> you're gonna learn. <laughs> We're going to learn something new tonight. Majeski's got a hand up. Who? Ben Majeski. Yeah, I got him too. Uh, hey, uh, book writer. Oh, great guess. Not Christina's job, though. <laughs> um, Sean. Yes? What do you think Christina does for work? She, she, she's a teacher in the You year. got it. Hey! Great job, Sean. Incredible, Sean. You rock. Oh, I wish Ozzy was on for this. And Christina's favorite singer. Brian Gibbons. Is Ozzy on? Andy, Ga Andy Gall Gallick. Nah. Oh. Teo. Yes? What do you think? Christina's favorite. Who do you think Christina's favorite singer is? Ed Sheeran. Ooh, great guess. Not, to, not this time around. Um, let's see. Kiki. Uh, 
Tim McGraw. Ooh. That's a good one. That is a good one. Robert. Yeah. Kenny Chesney. Ooh, I like Kenny Chesney. I don't know about Christina, though. It's not a not favorite. <laughs> yeah. Leah. Um, by any chance, is it pink? Ooh. It's not pink. This person um, plays in Western Mass, I think, in the Berkshires. Uh, name that tune, Hint. Name that tune. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Robert. Celine Dion. Oh, close. Oh. It's, it's um, a male singer. A male? Got um, two first names. It's the same name. Last name. And two last names, so that's confusing. <laughs> um, Kiki. Rascal Flax. Oh, oh. I love the Rascal Flats. <laughs> Not. Oh, you ready? Okay. Let's see. Oh, you know what? My volume's turned down. That'll that'll do it. And you, I'm muted me. I'm unmuted you. Can't you see the sunshine? Tommy D. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Tell us. James Taylor. You yeah. got it. You have got it. We did it. And now we get to listen to this song. Did you say you couldn't hear it at all or you didn't recognize it? I could not hear the song at all. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. It was the Arthur theme song. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry oh, that you God. couldn't hear it. It was the Arthur theme song from the show. I love great, the Arthur theme song. <laughs> great, great listen if anybody's looking for a song that they haven't heard before. For sure. All righty. Moving right along. What's that, Morgan? Moving right along. Moving right along. Onto the bathroom. Name something you might find in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. Zach. Uh, a sink and a toothbrush. A sink and a toothbrush. Uh, we're gonna go with sink number two. I got it, Emma. Yay! You got oh, it. Fuck. You did. <laughs> Gotta have a sink. <laughs> Um, a hairbrush. Oh, such a good answer. Not on this round. Such a good answer, though. Allie. <laughs> what might you find in that bathroom? Um... We got our sink. What else has water? A sh a shower. Bingo number seven. Nice job, Al. <laughs> Patty. A toilet. A toilet number one answer. <laughs> Patrick. I think. It's uh, like a tub. A tub with goes with the shower. Absolutely. Number seven. Uh, yes. You got it. Ellen Sue, Michelle, and Ronnie. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Number three. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> <laughs> Christina. 
Smith. Um, cabinet. Such a good answer. <laughs> Didn't make the cut though. Andy Doyle. Uh, toothbrush and toothpaste. Also incredible answers. Didn't make the cut. Man. Rudy. Yeah. What might you What's need? The to, yeah. Um, what might be something you find in the bathroom? Towels. Yes, number eight. <laughs> Nate, I see you got a hand towel too. Awesome. Okay. Annie. Hand soap. Yes, number four. Oh, wait. Well, I thought you said hair. hand soap. Number, number five, Emma. Go with five. Soap. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, this next one you will put in your hair. Louie. Uh, combs. Great. Tom, Shampoo. using your comb, but before you use the comb, you got to do what? Shampoo. You got it. Number four. Okay, and our last but not least, Sean. Yes? What might you find in a bathroom? What do you mean? Right, that's a great hint. That's a great question. <laughs> um, so, uh, say you blow your nose. Yeah. What are you gonna, where are you gonna put the tissue? It, 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 I'll be able to put a t you'll put a tissue in your trash or you'll put a tissue in the wastebasket. Absolutely. Never said it. Great job. Well done, Sean. Good job. Wow. We what did it. Category. What a category. Here we go. <laughs> Moving right along to the kitchen. Never. Yeah, that's Name good. something you might find in the fridge. Sanaz, welcome. Hi. Hey. What's up, girlfriend? What is up? Tell us something you might find in the fridge. Okay. Uh, either condiment or food. Uh, yeah, both. Tell us one. Condiments. Okay, give me a condiment. Ketchup. You got it. Number seven. Okay, the chat is blowing up, and I love it, and there's so many good answers. Okay, so, um, Emma, we're going to start with, um, I'm going to find Christina Smith. Christina Smith, tell us. Um, milk. Number one. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Love it. Tommy D, tell us. Oh, oh dear. Got him. Okay. Don't got him. There you go. <laughs> Tom, what is it? <laughs> Diet Coke. Yes, which is also known as soda. <laughs> Next. Good one, Tom. Okay. Nina, let me find you. Oops. Come back. Nina, tell us. I wrote cheese. You got it. Number three. <laughs> okay. Trace. Joey. Vegetables. Number four. Yeah. <laughs> um, we let us. Kettle. Jeff Kettle, tell us. Beer. I thought you said juice. <laughs> okay, go with your other one. Juice. Yeah, uh, number eight. Um, Amber? Yes? Number eight. I'm so sorry. No problem. Oh, Kiki. Deli meat. Mmm. Delicious. Didn't make the cut. Well, that's going to go under vegetables, actually. Um, oh, boy. Benny. Ah. Uh... You gotta have ketchup. You gotta have ketchup number seven already, dude. And you gotta have mustard sauce. 
Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um, Chris Kuklinski. Yeah. What might you have for breakfast in the morning that come from chickens? Um, oh, I know. Tell us. Scrambled eggs. Yes, number two. Booyah. Booyah. I love it. We've got one more. Patrick. Hi, to fruits. Absolutely incredible. You got it. Number five. Wow. Yes. Patrick, wow. you're, you're, you're like the, um, the final, you know, the what's fast money. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Morgan, yes. does that give us one, one last question? Uh, for the night? I've got two. Oh, great. Just great. checking. That's great. Okay. <laughs> Name an activity you may do on a warm summer day. Patty. Pool. What, what are you going to do in the pool? Swim. Yes, number one. <laughs> okay. Ellen, Sue, Michelle, and Ronnie. Walk in. Walk in, number two. Well, incredible. Morgan, I wonder if Nick Christopher has a guess on this one. Read my mind. Oh, see? Nick Christopher. Hi. Hi. What might you do on a warm summer day? Um, I'm eating. Absolutely. Number four. Great job. Have a picnic. Nice, oh, Nick. Awesome. Great work. Sean, coming back to you. Yes. What might you do on a warm summer day? Go to the beach. Yes. We'll go for a walk. We're going to go with go to the beach because we already have go for a walk. Number three. Great work. Okay. I think, Benny. I think this is Morgan's dream day. Yeah, for real. Benny, come on. Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, walk on the beach at sunset. Okay. Are you kidding? That's like literally <laughs> the best end to a summer day. <laughs> You're incredible. Like in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, Benny, what are we doing? Uh, we Andy, are, can, Andy can come um, too. Bork! Uh, what'd you say, Eddie? Or <laughs> golfing. Yes, number seven. Oh, uh, that was the wrong, wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Emma, excuse you. Yeah, right. That was the. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, Morgan, what number was that? <laughs> seven. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all. So after golf, we need to eat. And what might we do? I mean, where might we cook? Morgan, can we go to Robert? Of course we can. Cook out? Yes, what are we cooking on the? Burger, on the grill. Yes, number eight. Well done. Some, don't forget the potato salad. Oh, oh, never forget the potato salad. That's part. <laughs> love it, I love it. In the, in the salad. In the, in the, Excellent salad. I love it. Um, Terrell. Bar barbecue or, or hiking? Absolutely. I love it. That's two and that's eight. Excellent. Oops. So now us. Uh, drinking water. Oh, so important. I can't believe it didn't make the list. <laughs> important. Yeah, important. Important right. every day. Having ice cream. How, such, how, how could that not be on the list? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kiki. Talking to friends. Also incredible. You may talk to friends while you're doing what? With the sun. You can also... Hmm. Well, 
You must put sun tan lotion on for this. Uh, I've got no the tan. Yes, sun bathe. Bingo. <laughs> number six. Okay, and number five, Caroline Kelly, you and your sister have been doing this all the time. Uh, camp? I'm um, sorry, that was, I threw you off there. Um, Okay, on Marathon Monday, you did this while you uh, went up to the Hopkinton Center on your... Oh, bike. Yes, number five. Nice. Uh, right. We did it. We did it. Do we have one more? We've got one more. Let's wow, do it. Wow, everyone. Name a type of flower. Uh, Morgan, can I clarify? Uh, Are we talking? Uh, okay, no, never mind. Oh, I'm say okay. It. Danny, what's a type of flower? Oh my god, my presentation was so bad. Um, sunflower. Sunflower, number four. Oh, what's the presentation? Of Great job. Right. Brian Given. Oh. Days. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> Dave, nice job, Ryan. You crushed it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Robert. Rose. Number one. Nice. Nate Thebolts. I'm naming a type of flower. Tulip. Bingo. Number two. Morgan, I see Nicole Gow with a thumb up. Okay. Can we go there next? Yes. What do you think, Nicole? Carnation. Oh, a carnation. Oh, great guess. Survey says? This list. Oh, survey says. That's a good one, though, Nicole. It is a great How one. How about um, Nate Orlov? Of course. Oh. I'll let you say it. Go yeah. ahead, Nate. Yeah, violets. Such a great guess. Unfortunately, it didn't make the list. That would, would be number nine. Um, Jeff Kettle. Daisy. Daisy, we got it. Number three. Mm -hmm. Dirk. Yeah. God, I should know this stuff. I do the next question. Okay. I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Salaz. Daffodil. Oh, I see that Zach just got that and Nicole all <clears throat> the time. You guys rock, and it didn't make the list. I'm Ugh. sorry. <laughs> Geeky. Jay Blossoms. Oh, wow, you guys rock. This didn't make the list, unfortunately. Um, I wish Delilah was here. Her, uh, her sister is named similar to that. Annie. Oh, I got him in the uh, house. Wow. wow, she's Louise. Uh, didn't make the list. Benny. Uh, um. You see, it's Florida. Uh, Nichols. Wow. You guys rock. Uh, uh, these are not, okay. So we've got. Hey Morgan, um, whole wheat. Whole wheat. What? Whole wheat. That's what my guess is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Gluten free? Whole wheat flour, not a thing. Not a thing. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it took me a second. <laughs> so we've got a build me up. Ooh. Got it. Why do you build me up? Build me up. I see violet. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. It didn't make the list. Oh. It looks like Ellen Sue is feeling real excited about it. Come on, Ellen Sue. Give it to us. Yes, number seven. Morgan, seven. Seven. Thank you. Daddy. Tula. We got number two. 
Nice job. Ding. And comedy. Um, Zach has one. Maybe you know Delilah's sister. Hey, Zach. Her name is oh, uh, Tula. A rose? Oh, dear. Oh, yep, we got roses on there. Nice one. I got it, and I did. You got it. Did you want to take a, a guess at that, Tom? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, wait, petunias. <laughs> yes, fantastic. Number six. Okay, we've got two more. One, um, um, never mind. Emma, do you have some hints for these? <laughs> well, I just don't have the list in front of me. That's the problem because if. Oh, rats. Okay. Um, Dirk, help us. I got one. Yeah. Orange blossoms. Oh, oh delicious. Oh, oh good. First letter. Not delicious. It starts with an O. No. Wow. The an O. <laughs> uh, these are uh, all orc. People try really hard to grow them in Massachusetts, but they really belong in Florida. Ice Orchids? Yes. <laughs> nice. Got it. Fun. Okay, now these this last one. Um, I, I don't know how to not give it away with, they, they're green and they go and go in ponds, um, Ooh. are the blank pads, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, what? I'm sorry? I got in the chat. Who's, who's, okay, Tommy D, where are you? Yes! Lily pads. Oh, fantastic. So, um, Nate Orlov also says lilies. Woo, we got it. We, we did it. Got it. Everyone did take it. a deep breath. Woo. Thank you for playing. Uh, looking ahead to tomorrow, we have Zumba at 10 o'clock with Judy. We have a Spotlighters music session at 2 o'clock. And at 7 p.m., we have the campfire. And um, Andy, do you want to talk again about um, the campfire? Well, sure do, Emma. I actually am coming to you live from a campfire. Oh! Because I had to do a uh, practice run, because Steve Fogg has set a very high bar uh, for campfires. So tomorrow night is our 100th virtual program that we've had during this time. And at the campfire, we're going to try to get 100 people there. But we need your help. I think we maxed out correct me if i'm wrong i feel like the prom last week we had like 63 something like that so we're hoping to get 37 more people and the only way we're going to do it is if you reach out to people and say hey come hang out at the campfire with me they can be athletes they can be family they can be friends tell them to find the link on our facebook page you can send them the link yourself um, but we're hoping to have 100 people there. We have some fun prize, not prizes. We have some fun things that we're going to do tomorrow night. Uh, we're really excited for it. Uh, it'll be really great. Can't That's wait. Thanks, Andy. Thank you so much. All right, then. Well, cool. Oh. Okay, so um, be there, be square, bring your friends, bring your family, bring your dogs, bring your cats, bring your rabbits. <laughs> wear, your, wear your flannel wear some wear if you don't have flannel. flannel wear campfire attire i see a lot of people in comfy sweatshirts mm -hmm. that is always really great mm -hmm. um that's a great thing to wear so be ready can't wait Louis, you got a question um bye have one quick bonus uh bye have one quick bonus question is for uh, lucy oh Lucy. And, uh, and it is for Lucy and Ms. Ojo. <laughs> yes, so, where are and, you? Um, do you know what we do you know die from from the uh, last night just did about for the uh it is for the last uh trivia night. 
uh, uh, question was, but no, this friend of mine, it was our arrangement. She just went to my school with me. Awesome. Adam, did you guys graduate the same year? Uh, yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Was she nice? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I just even met her. Wow. That's cool. awesome, Adam. Thanks. Thanks. All right, y'all. So, Adam, invite her to the campfire. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, Oh, sweet. That's amazing. Let's all oh, say yeah. good night and see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.